Well, four months after 16 year old Brandon Trumbo was shot to death on his way home from a central high school basketball game in Louisville's West End, his church is trying to stop violent crime. As WHAS 11's Melanie Snow reports, it meant a shocking start to that church service this morning. He got shot in his lower back. A crime scene unfolds right in front of church members at Bates Memorial Baptist Church as they go inside for Sunday service. You still with me? Two teens are shot in a gang fight. One is rushed to the hospital. Another draped with a white sheet. Onlookers stare in disbelief. I was just like, oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> I just saw someone laying on the ground, so I didn't know what happened or they had the appropriate help, but I saw the ambulance, so I figured that they had it under control. The shooter is arrested. A good friend mourns. It's a violent display that is all too common. Uh, we lead the nation uh, in so many devastating areas, such as uh, teen death rate, um, teen pregnancy, high school dropout rate. And so we just wanted to bring some attention um, to what's going on with African American youth. It's given uh, us an opportunity to talk to young people our age, to let them know just how we feel as Christians and how it devastates our community. The crime tape is rolled out and a voice is heard giving out some sad real facts. While the facts are real, this crime scene is not. It is a dramatization put on by members of the Bates Youth Group, all to make one important statement. Like our theme here is a matter of life and death, and it really is a matter of life and death. I mean, we have teenage pregnancies, AIDS, um, gang violence, just all, all sorts of things that plague our community. <laughs> This mock shooting is in honor of Brandon Trumbo, a real shooting victim who was killed in February after a homecoming game. He was our big baby, that's what we called him. He's bigger than all of us, even though he was the youngest, but he was a, he was a bundle of joy. A shocking way to begin a church service and a vivid reminder violence is present anytime, anywhere. Our youth, you know, they're, they're, they're lost right now and they need some perspective in their lives. And I feel like it needs to start at home first, but also the church need to do their part to help out. Melanie Snow, WHAS 11 News. And this dramatization leads up to the Children's Youth and Young Adult Weekend, which is next Saturday and Sunday.